the red yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a thick boy ring. So hard. Oh my f god. Oh my god. Oh, this thing is impossible. I've never driven a car like that before. <laughs> Jesus, P. I think most of us car nerds at one point or another have dreamt about designing our very own supercar. But the barrier to entry in that industry is pretty high, almost as high as racing. But today you or I or my girlfriend B can pretty much design and drive our very own dream car. And we can do that through the games Automation and BeamNG. Now B is not a huge car girl herself, but she is very knowledgeable after hearing me moan about cars pretty much all day every day. You Poor thing. So in today's video, we're gonna answer the age old question, does the driver make the car or does the car make the driver? So in this video, I wanna challenge B to designing and hot lapping our very own hypercars, but with a twist. So we're each gonna make the fastest car we can and then we'll hot lap each other's cars and the fastest driver wins. Okay. See, I would love to give you like a little beetle type thing. Um, oh no, <laughs> oh no, 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 Back. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I saw a speed little number way up. Why didn't you go first? Don't want you to learn off what I did. <laughs> I feel like this one. Cute. Okay. Cute. Interesting. It's kind of like a LaFerrari knockoff or something. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, okay. Select language and there's a US flag. Yeah. That's a joke. You just speak in American. American 1.0. Right. Body, body oh, I'm here. sorry. I don't give a shit if I'll save to your corrosion. <laughs> <laughs> What's the lightest? I don't know. I don't know which one I is. Mean, it was a rhetorical question. Okay, okay. I guess here the only thing that matters because like material costs and tooling costs doesn't I, matter. We've Safety got a doesn't matter. Big budget. Either. Big budget. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the expensive one. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You see, I've got expensive taste, Jimmy. Oh, it tells you it's better. Oh. It tells you better. <laughs> Stop. Um, so you need to make an engine now. <laughs> Waft. British racing driver term for when an engine has more power than normal. Example, mate, your engine got big waft in it. I quite it's like the number 60. 60, yeah, and then you gotta choose how many cylinders. 12. 12, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's the, my engine right there. Cast iron. <laughs> yeah, you can have a cast iron block. Interesting. So you got bore mm. and stroke or what those are called. Let's just go big or go home. Ugh. Wow, so you definitely weren't a car designer in a previous life, that's for sure. <laughs> Carburetor sounds kind of fun. Carburetor. <laughs> what is that? Carburetor. I feel like the low, the bottom one's more. I better. was wondering how long it's gonna take. Oh, fuck's sake! So after this revelation, B went for largely the most expensive components or most extreme settings she could think of. She chose a twelve thousand RPM. Oh, I got an F1 car now. Perfect. Fifteen to one compression ratio twin turbo V12. For my own sanity, I may have given her a few hints from time to time. You're trying to make a race car and you choose performance over race. Oh shit, yeah, should I go back? No, no, uh, no, no, no. Catalytic, <laughs> <laughs> I remember learning about this in GCSE physics. Oh wow, <laughs> that's interesting. You've pretty much built the engine, but like now you have the- Am I purple or red? You're both. <laughs> After choosing all the engine components, B needed to tune her engine because in its current state, the engine was pretty much just an explosive device. Can you just do like max and like best? No, you gotta figure that out. So using the really cool live dyno feature in the game, she was actually able to find exactly where those bottlenecks were. Oh, it what? was. Oh, yeah. that oh, oh my god, yeah. yeah, your issue is compression. Oh my uh, god. Nice. See, I should actually do this. Oh my god. For a living. I've got to drive this thing. I don't know how I'm going to drive a 2300 horsepower car. Nice. Twin turbo V12. Oh my god. You are welcome. Whew. Okay, I think I'm done. You can hear what the engine sounds like. That sounds good to me. See, you, you only want the 4000 RPMs. That's all an expert needs. I want to hear what it sounds like. That's literally horrible. I thought 
thought it was pretty good. How many you want to hear that again? So, so. She's... You don't deserve her. Alright, now with her monster powertrain sorted, B moved on to the exterior designing phase of her build, and I have to say her choices were, shall we say, unique? Oh, interesting. That is interesting. The red, yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that is a thick boy wing. I don't understand. How do I put a B on your fucking car? Bigger, bigger, bigger. Nice. Lovely. The <laughs> bee mobile. <laughs> okay. And exhaust, exhaust, exhaust. <laughs> it's like when you move the mouse, it's like a, it's like a drunk person is like. Ooh. I'm. This game is like not. It's you. It's, it's not the, the game. game. It's you. It's really the game. Okay. <laughs> and can we get another one in there? What is this car? <laughs> oh my god. It's all about trying things that are different. Mm, what a beautiful car you made, Pete. <laughs> Thank you. Then it was time to select her gearbox and tire options. And she knew just how to push my buttons with this one. I think it oh, also works I'm gonna give you an now. automatic. Why? Because <laughs> I know you're always. Right. Oh, you pass me can. No, okay, I'll be nice. Well, why? Um... Because they have the best drivability. <laughs> Just think about it oh, for a second. Set. Which one will have more grip? Selfless. <laughs> 395s in the front, 395s in the rear. No. No. Maybe I'm... smaller in the front. Or smaller in the back. <laughs> I'm just trying to okay, gauge your the... rear wheel drive, so I want the big ones in the back. Yeah. Drum brakes. brakes. No. See, <laughs> B knows exactly what drum brakes are because her Citroen C3 has drum brakes in the rear, and I pretty much refuse to get in the car with her because that's not, I feel like that's not even legal in the United States to have drum brakes in a modern car these days. It's so dramatic. Brake. Brake bias? Mm. You should know rear what. Rear wheel drive. <laughs> don't know if so that's we right. want it to be more to the back or to the front. <laughs> I think as it is. I guess we'll find out. Downforce. She also added a we downforce producing fast. under tray, electronic power steering, and a stripped down racing interior. Entertainment, none. We're here to work. <laughs> the engine is the entertainment. Then in the final step, she made some questionable suspension tuning settings like positive camber in the front and extremely stiff roll bar settings. So I knew I was in for a real treat with this one. Okay, my turn. When it came to my car, I also went for the best quality components since our objective is speed here. I opted for a mid-transverse engine layout with a smaller twin-turbo V8 engine for improved handling and responsiveness. B found this absolutely fascinating. Sorry, it's been a long week. A few moments later. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I've got some issues as well. <laughs> oh, knocking. That's a rookie mistake. Mm, it, is, it is rookie. It's really cool being able to see this all in real time. Like, imagine you're, you're building a real car. You have to, like... Oh my god. <laughs> like B, I also had a lot of tuning to do to make my engine even run properly, but once I did, my engine was making just over 1100 horsepower. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. Now the car is, I wouldn't say this is the most drivable type of power delivery here. So that's gonna be on you. You did the best you could. Oh, this girl, that is a very nice looking engine. Oh, let's listen to how this sounds. barking up the wrong tree. On to the designing phase. I opted for a more realistic look, shall we say, but my lack of designing skills are still evident in the final product. And so we've got everything in carbon but this one panel, because I can't figure it out. Big turbo badge. Turbo. <laughs> Interesting. That's kind of cool though, that's kind of cool. That's pretty cool. 
Each their own. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh, now it's a Koenigsegg. Look at that. I can't really oh, rotate. so bad with the mouse. All right, you're gonna be the sideways ghost squadron. There you go. Rear wheel drive is our only option, apparently. So, have fun with that. All right, so there's the summary of my car. Absolutely beautiful, I would say. I think mine's nicer than yours, to be completely honest. I think they're both atrocious. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll give you that. But So let's see who's gonna do the best on the test track. All right, B, so it's time to test your masterpiece of a car here in BMMG. So we're at the automation test track. So they have their own test track in BMMG just for testing out the cars you build, which I think is pretty cool. I have to say, your car doesn't look too bad, but I have to say though, only two of the exhaust pipes work. Uh, <laughs> it does oh. sound really good though. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of wheel spin. Oh. I don't really know this track, so it's pretty even here. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this thing is impossible. Oh. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> nice I've one. never driven a car like that before. <laughs> Jesus, B. Okay, here we go, another attempt. I, I can't even describe how much wheel spin there is right now. The steering's also pretty vague with that electronic power steering. Oh my god. I'm barely touching the throttle. You can see the bottom left, that throttle trace. I don't even think I've seen 50% throttle yet. The <laughs> drift, absolute drift machine. <laughs> the car feels pretty light, and the front end's pretty positive. You just have no rear grip with the switch power. Still not full throttle, still not 50. Okay. Short shift. Oh my god. I think we almost hit 230 miles an hour there. I don't know where to brake for these corners. I guess you can use this as an opportunity to learn the track a little bit. Ooh. It's very snappy as well, very sensitive to steering inputs. So you try and correct the slide and the thing just wants to kill you. Case in point. All right, I can do a lap. I just need to take it calmly and just hope that you're not as quick. Right. Short shift is my friend. Braking performance is very good since you, uh, <laughs> you maxed out those carbon ceramics. And I didn't the banking. Jesus. I think that was 234 miles an hour there. Okay, we're almost at the end, I think. I've got to really blend the brake there. Oh, this is not my finest driving, but I'm trying to survive here. Oh my god. Whew. I survived. A minute 52.8 seconds. No idea how good that is. Uh, but I guess you're, about to, it's not you're about to tell me. No, I don't <laughs> think it is. Whew. All right, B, your turn. Oh. <laughs> you might want to restart that one. Because uh, it took about five seconds before you actually went off the line. Oh, shit. Oh, Take your hands shit. off the wheels. Oh my god, third person noob mode engaged. 
Uh-oh. What? Oh, actually, sorry, sorry, I mis- I misjudged the cornering speed, okay? I didn't realize how good of a car I made, I guess. Or how good of a driver I am. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, you've got that left-hander coming up. Yeah, a kink. Now you've got the hairpin. Have you been drinking? You definitely, you're about 60 miles an hour slower through here than I was. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was a massive shunt. That was definitely my bad. <laughs> You've got traction control, you can use the thing. Oh, like I'm literally turning. Too Ooh. tired for this. <laughs> I really regret doing this. Okay, break. Just break lightly. Lightly. Actually, that's too slow. Nice. Full throttle. Go to the finish line. Oh. <laughs> 2.32. Oi. I think once you know the track, you're gonna... That's obviously gonna be a huge mile. Yeah. Break it to 200. You could probably break later at that speed. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the most backhanded compliment ever. <laughs> at that speed. That's, yeah, I mean, actually. You can break it like 25 <laughs> meters, something like that. And then left up the hill. Oh, slow, slow, slow. oh no, that was gonna be so much better. God! Uh... <laughs> That's a lot of curve. Yeah, that was a big, like. <laughs> The car is not making some nice noises, let me tell you. No? I thought it sounded pretty nice. No, as in like me crashing oh. into <laughs> shit, it's making nice noise. Nice, nice. I find it so hard. What is it? Oh my fucking god! Are you okay? Oh, I hate this steering wheel! So annoying! <laughs> I don't feel comfortable doing anything with this bloody steering wheel. <laughs> It's the game, something else. Oh. Oh, uh oh, there goes your wing. Rut row. Interesting that you're actually like, you were much more natural in an F1 car with no assist. It's genuinely because I'm scared of the wheel. Yeah. That's literally it. It's amazing how much the fear changes your, the way you drive. I think this is that's what a lot of like sim drivers who try driving in real life all of a sudden have to deal with out of nowhere. Like they have the skill, but then uh, it's another story to deal with like the fear of actually getting hurt. Yeah, there's no way. Oh, I distracted you. Uh, oh, I'm gonna have to like have some rule like no talking. Okay. Like a library something. <laughs> if this isn't the one. Full focus, B. You can do it. Just look far ahead. That's 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 gonna help. Me. <laughs> Good thing there weren't anyone. There wasn't anyone on that sidewalk there. <laughs> they would have been dead. <laughs> Like this corner you barely need to break for. Well, I kind of did the opposite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 221. Okay, you dropped 11 seconds from your yeah, only other completed still lap. Yeah, shocking. <laughs> You're only, wow, oh, 30, 30 seconds. seconds. <laughs> Want to give it one more attempt? One more. But one if more I crash, then we're still, that's still the last one. Nice. Okay, you're getting some speed now. Okay, I'll tell you in the break. Light, light break now. Like, like a little bit more. Okay, like a, like a little. See, is when you let go, the car turns. No, that's it. That's it. I can't do this anymore. Oh, look, there's your wheel. 
<laughs> bye bye my friends I'm not gonna be using you again just out of curiosity I want to see how what lap time I would do in your car because I want to see who actually designed the fastest car because we still don't know you I'm not gonna lie I think I might let you have this win no I don't know your car might be it has so much more power than my car all right let's see what uh, what my car is really made of and see if we can actually beat put it in short mode <laughs> Oh, that first gear is so long, which I did to help you, but I don't know if it's actually the best for performance, to be completely honest. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed you made that. <laughs> it's so weird, this ability control. You feel the car steering for you sometimes, but like... But I like, I don't know, by torque vectoring or something. Oh god. You're distracting us. I know. I have to say, so far, your car was much better to drive. What can I say? <laughs> so far, so far. But the lap time is the only thing that matters. Because we're speedy boys over here. Alright, here's the test. What's the lot time gonna be? You're joking, oh. look how close. 151.6? That's crazy. 1.2 seconds difference. I'm actually shocked at how close it was. That's insane. And we made complete, I mean, not completely different cars, but there was quite a few differences. I mean, the engines, you had twice as much horsepower with your. Mine was red, yours is carbon fiber. Yeah, massive difference there. <laughs> That's crazy how close that is. I'm actually shocked at how close that is. All right, and there you have it. Uh, what did you guys think of those results? I was definitely surprised at just how good of a car B made in the end. I don't know why you were surprised. I'm a natural. Not so sure about that. But if you did enjoy this video and you want to see more of B, definitely check out another video we did together where I challenge her to an actual F1 quality sim, no assist in iRacing. I think you'll be surprised at the result. So if you enjoyed this video, we really enjoyed making it and we would really appreciate it if you guys would like, subscribe, and comment your favorite moment down below. With all that being said, see you guys in the next one.